So I'm going to show you this setup I have on my Raspberry Pi um, that uh, allows me to log in to the Raspberry Pi desktop or into RetroPie, which is this very cool um, gaming console, basically, that you have on your Raspberry Pi. And the third thing that I can do with it is from the RetroPie, log into uh, Kodi, which is a media server. And some of the awesome things that you can do with that, you can basically cut your cable cord to an extent and, and use it for all sorts of uh, uh, viewing of TV shows and, and just a media that you have available. Um, so let me show you, I have to log in like I would regularly here. Um, I still have the default settings for username is Pi and the password Raspberry. So that got me in there. Now from here I could put in start X and that would take me right into uh, Raspbian. I think I have Jesse on here. Um, or I could put in There it is. Oh, it's all one word. Sorry about that. Press enter. It's a pretty quick boot, actually. Come on. And there we are. We're in here. And I have a uh, USB connected um, joystick that uh, I can control everything on this screen. If I press these buttons here, we're going sideways and I could select one. So the first time you log in, it syncs. It gives you the option to um, tell the RetroPie what you want each of these buttons to do. Uh, so I did that the first time. Um, and anytime you connect a new USB control, you can have multiple of these connected. It will ask you um, to do that. Um, so I have a bunch of different games on here uh, that we could, you know, I could start at any time and uh, it only takes a moment to log most games in. This is uh, Burger Time. Um, technically you're supposed to, uh, legally, you're supposed to own these games and have created ROMs from them. Um, so that's, that's how you should do it. So that's that game there. To get out of it, I press the select and the start button simultaneously. There we go. And I'll show you if I scroll across here. There, this is uh, some ports that I have. And the very cool one is this Cody. Click on that. <laughs> Can, I have music that I've uploaded to this. I could play that at any time. Um, there's uh, videos. Um, and the cool thing that I, you know, I have photos and, and all kinds of I can even bring up the weather. Click on that. Oh, it works better if I use my... I have a keyboard attached as well. And it just seems to function better if I control it from the keyboard. Um, so if I press enter there keyboard it's gonna give me a forecast from Yahoo there we go okay um, hit the escape key get out of that and then uh, I can actually control this too maybe in a future video I'll show you control this from your phone um, via Wi-Fi uh, that's the easiest way to do it especially if you're gonna set it up uh, to your TV um, so I mean, this is really cool these add-ons that you can have on here on the video. I have all kinds of channels that I can go ahead and watch. Uh, some are on demand, some are actually live streaming. This is Bravo. It's uh, on demand, so I could click on one of these. But they're MVC Sports. You can get um, uh, live footage. This is opening stream. And there you go. I'm watching a show on there. Uh, do I not have my speaker hooked up? We're currently living and go. working in Sherman Oaks. Rather than rent a house for a year for $100,000, I'd rather put that money. So, I'm going to stop there. But 
you get the idea. And the other, the, the thing that's great with this is I, if I want to, I can go right on to a, uh, and go right on to a Raspberry Pi boot up uh, in Raspbian and do anything with that as well. So it's a great setup. I'm getting a lot of use out of it. Um, I wanted to show you because I'm going to show you in my next video how to actually install this. It's not that hard. My home and I Thanks, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. And like I said, in the next video, I'll show you how to uh, install it.